get some air circulating. Okay. Good job, everyone. Next time, next time we'll try maybe some exercises that are even a little bit more um, stimulating. I'm going to turn this on again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pass out the recipe. Actually, Mark, would you be willing to pass this out for me? This is the English and here's the Thai. <laughs> so one of the things um, that is often, often a concern with a vegetarian diet because um, we here are promoting a vegetarian diet but there's you know people have different concerns with that kind of diet so I'm gonna go over a few of those today uh, I'll wait, I'll wait till Mark finishes. Do you, do you want to help him maybe, Dorothy? Yeah. Oh, those are Thai. Okay. So the, the vegetarian burger that we're making today is uh, made from a base of pak tong, which is um, a squ very common squash uh, sold here in Thailand. And the other base, huh? oh, we need more? Oh. Can um, if we're short on the English on the English copies, um, we can get more to you guys later. Maybe you can share for now. I think we still have enough Thai ones, though. If if you need a Thai, another Thai one. Does anyone else need Thai? No? Okay. Okay. So, let's get started. So, one of the, ma one of the major concerns that actually is a question that I get asked a lot as a vegetarian is, uh, where do you get your protein? It's interesting. Um, in America, they make many different like cartoons and like funny little memes about like being a vegetarian. And they have a they have an interesting little cartoon that is very popular. It's common. I've seen it many times. It's a cartoon of a gorilla. There's a, a you know a really big husky gorilla. And there's there's a little animal talking to the gorilla. And and the gorilla and the little animal asks the gorilla. But do you have are you eating enough protein? Gorilla protein So you know a gorilla is, is a vegetarian. But do you ever doubt that a gorilla has a, is eating enough protein? Also, elephants are vegetarian. How do they get so bulky and strong? Muscles. So it makes you wonder, you know, where are they getting their protein from if they're not eating meat? So the, the interesting, the interesting um, bottom line fact is you know that animals, even um, like animals like, like gorillas, elephants, they're not getting their protein from meat, they're getting protein from plants because plants have protein. 
สัตว์ไม่ว่าจะเป็นช้างหรือลิงกอริลล่าเนี่ยที่เขากินอาหารเป็นจําพวกพืชอยู่แล้วเนี่ยเขาได้รับโปรตีนมาจากไหนเขาไม่รับโปรตีนมาจากเนื้อสัตว์เพราะเขาไม่กินเนื้อสัตว์แต่เขาได้รับโปรตีนจากพืชเขากินแต่พืชนั่นเอง So like a cow A cow doesn't not isn't isn't the primary source of the protein that you're getting. The cow is getting its protein from the plant that it's eating. So right. you're getting secondary protein from eating a cow. แม้กระทั่งเนื้อวัวที่เรากินกันเนี่ยซึ่งเราคิดว่าเนื้อวัวได้รับมีโปรตีนเยอะใช่ไหมครับแต่วัวเนี่ยก็เป็นสัตว์ที่กินพืชเหมือนกันเพราะนั้นเนี่ยวัวก็ได้รับโปรตีนมาจากพืช And the the reality is is that actually in modern days we are eating way much more protein than our bodies actually need. จริงๆแล้วในปัจจุบันเนี่ยเรากินโปรตีนได้รับโปรตีนเนี่ยมากเกินความจำเป็นที่เราต้องร่างกายเราเราต้องการด้วยซ้ำไป Especially with the typical American diet that Americans eat it's way too much protein โดยเฉพาะอาหารอเมริกันเนี่ยมีโปรตีนเยอะเกินความจำเป็นที่ร่างกายต้องการ So I just want to briefly just so you guys are aware and can be and can be considering these things for yourself um, How much protein does a person actually really need? จริงๆแล้วโปรตีนที่เราต้องการได้รับในแต่ละวันเนี่ยมากแค่ไหน So uh, the recommended intake, the recommended amount of protein that you should be getting per day is 0.8 uh, milligrams per kilogram of body weight. ร่างกายต้องการโปรตีน 0.8 มิลลิกรัมต่อร่างกายน้ำหนักร่างกาย1กิโลกรัม Sorry, not milligrams. กรัมนะครับ 0.8 กรัมต่อร่างกายน้ำหนักร่างกาย1กิโลกรัม So let's say we have a woman สมมติว่าผู้หญิง That is 55 kilograms น้ำหนัก55กิโลกรัม Then that would equals for her daily amount of protein that she needs every day ต้องการโปรตีนต่อวันทั้งหมด About 44 grams 44กรัม Okay So now we're going to look at a few Sources of protein. Where can you get the most protein from? We're going to take some comparisons of a few different meats as well. Um, meat has protein. I'm not going to deny it. it has a lot of protein. เราจะมาเทียบกันนะครับว่าพวกเนื้อต่างๆเนี่ยมีโปรตีนมากขนาดไหนเนื้อบัวมีโปรตีนแน่นอนไม่เถียง But in addition to having um, lots of protein, it also has hormones and antibiotics. Um, it has cholesterol. It has saturated fat. It usually has more fat than plant sources. So you're getting a lot of extra things with animal protein that you do not get with plant protein. แต่ที่แถมมาจะแถมมากับโปรตีนนอกจากนั้นก็คือไขมันนะครับคอเลสเตอรอลนะครับซึ่งเป็นสิ่งที่เราไม่ต้องการแต่ขณะที่พืชเนี่ยไม่มีพวกของแถมพวกนี้ So I'm just going to write a few numbers here so that you can kind of get a comparison. So we have um, this is this is all going to be in 100 grams of beef, 100 grams of chicken, 100 grams of pork, and so on. So approximately about a half a cup of beef. Okay, half a cup of beef. About almost one cup of chicken is about 100 grams. About half a cup of pork. So just so you have an idea of how much I'm thinking of. This is half a cup. So that's approximately 100 grams of beef. So that's what I'm going to be comparing right now. So beef has 20 grams of fat. It has 7.5 grams of sugar. So beef has 20 grams of fat. It has 7.6 grams of saturated fat. This is the one especially that you have to be careful with for cardiovascular diseases. So this is the one that contributes a lot to heart attacks and strokes. Um, this is the one that's probably one of the more, more dangerous kinds of fats. Um, it does have lots of protein, so it has 17 grams of protein and 71 milligrams of cholesterol. In the meat, we have the the most important is the meat in the meat, which makes the blood flow in the heart. แล้วก็มีคอเลสเตอรอลสูงถึง71มิลลิกรัมถึงแม้จะมีโปรตีนมากก็ตามแต่ว่ามันมีตัวที่ไม่ดีเข้ามาเพิ่มด้วย um, I don't have the number for saturated fat for this one I was not, didn't have enough time to find it but it has a little less calories than beef less fat for sure than beef เนื้อไก่เนื้อไก่มีแคลอรี่น้อยกว่าเนื้อบัวนะครับแล้วก็มีไขมันน้อยกว่าเนื้อบัวเยอะเลย Quite a bit more protein โปรตีนมากกว่า Quite a bit more cholesterol also มีคอเลสเตอรอลมากกว่าเนื้อบัวอีก Okay pork 
has oh, uh, about 100, ah, this pen is not working, 184 calories. No, no. 184 calories. Five by the three calories. Um, about 6.4 grams of fat. Me, Kaiman, Hong Kong, see, gram. 2.2 grams of saturated fat. Kaiman, in two, some to song, gram. And 20 grams of protein. Protein, yes, it gram. Am I doing the right line? Oh, sorry. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 31.6. 
And obviously, you all know that these have zero cholesterol because no plants have cholesterol. There's no plant that has cholesterol. So as you can see here, the protein is less in these, in these items. However, if you are trying to eat a healthy, balanced diet, you're not only going to be getting protein from a few things. You're trying to be, you know, put a lot of variety into your body because your body needs vitamins, it needs minerals. Where do you get vitamins and minerals? You get it from all the beautiful variety of vegetables that we have. Um, you get it from all the different fruits that we eat. You can, the, the, one of the, um, there was a research study done in America. Um, it's, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's the Adventist Health Study. And um, it studied Americans all over America <laughs> and uh, found that the best sources of protein that was causing this group of people to live a long time was coming from nuts and seeds. So this is considered a seed. We have um, sunflower seeds. Oh, sorry, I didn't let you translate that. protein <laughs> 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 wow, so short. <laughs> I felt like I said so much. <laughs> um, where did I stop? Where did I tell you? I'm trying to remember where I started and didn't stop. The seeds? Okay, well, the study, you said that mentioned the study? มีการศึกษานะครับที่อเมริกาก็ค้นพบว่ามันมีโปรตีนเนี่ยได้รับจากพวกเมล็ดถั่วเมล็ดพืชต่างๆเนี่ยมากมายเลยมันยังเป็น
is that another concern that um, people often have is where do you get iron? When you're a vegetarian, where do you get your iron? Because mm. people usually think that you need iron from the blood that's in the meat or from eggs. แล้วธาตุเหล็กเราจะได้มาจากไหนถ้าเรากินอาหารจำพวกพืชเนี่ยเพราะว่าธาตุเหล็กก็เป็นสิ่งที่ร่างกายต้องการใช่ไหมครับ So a lot of plant sources, especially green leafy vegetables, are very very high in iron. ธาตุเหล็กเนี่ยก็มีเยอะในพืชเช่นกันโดยเฉพาะ green green leafy vegetables like um, they eat a lot of green leafy vegetables here in Thailand you know like the the leafy like pakpung or but the the one there is one truth is that iron from plant sources is not as easily absorbed by the stomach as iron from meat not easy as easily absorbed like that's easily it's, more than like the stomach, it's a little harder for the stomach to absorb the iron from plants. Uh, but there's an easy fix to that. Did, did, yeah. Yes. It's, it's usually better to eat things raw, if possible, just because when you cook things, you kill some of the nutrients and the vitamins. As far as iron goes, it's probably not going to be that much that uh, affected by cooked or raw. But there's a pretty easy fix if you want to increase your iron absorption from plant sources, is that you just need to, um, you need to put vitamin C with your food. So um, vitamin C will help the iron from the plants to be drawn out and absorbed. So what would that mean? Eat a salad with lemon juice on it. Eat um, some plant sources of protein with broccoli. Broccoli has enough vitamin C in just broccoli. It has enough vitamin C to help you absorb iron from, um, from your meal. ธาตุเหล็กธาตุเหล็กที่มาจากพืชเนี่ยร่างกายจะดูดซับได้ยากกว่าธาตุเหล็กที่มาจากเนื้อสัตว์แต่ว่าเรามีวิธีแก้ก
ข้ากันเนี่ย so it holds things together we don't want we don't want a hamburger that's going to fall apart and it will just fall out of the bread เราไม่ต้องการให้เบอร์เกอร์ของเราเนี่ยกระจุยออกไปนะครับเราต้องการให้มันเกาะเป็นเนื้อเดียวกัน So we're going to be using flaxseed in this recipe to hold it together, and we're also going to be using oats because they're also a really good binder. เราก็จะใช้ bread flax เพื่อทำให้เนื้อเนื้อเบอร์เกอร์เนี่ยเกาะเป็นชิ้นเดียวกันรวมทั้ง oats นี้ด้วย So we're going to start with um, we want to let the flaxseed sit in some water to thicken, and um, it kind of activates it to be ready to mix into the rest of our things. So. I'm going to ask Helena to get one tablespoon of flaxseed. We're going to put it in the water. The water is 1 cup of water. We're going to put it in 3 cups of water. We're going to put it in the 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 water. So all we're going to do is we're going to mix one tablespoon of flaxseed with three tablespoons of water. We're going to put it in the water. We're going to put it in the water. Can you get me a mixing spoon and a fork, please? Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. So I'm just going to mix together that mixture. This is this is what it's going to look like at first. It's just kind of brown, but it will thicken as we let it sit. เทิ้งไว้สักครู่หนึ่งมันก็จะเริ่มเหนียวขึ้นนะฮะมันจะเริ่มเกาะตัวกัน I'm going to put that right there. Next, we have black beans. So, does I know that it's not a common thing to eat black beans um, salty in Thailand. ปกติคนไทยจะไม่ค่อยกินถั่วดำที่มันเป็นเค็มๆนะฮะเราจะกินถั่วดำเป็นของหวานใช่ไหมฮะ Usually, you see this in desserts. เราจะกินถั่วดำเป็นของหวานในเมืองในเมืองไทยฮะ But in in America, we usually be, eat beans salty. แต่ว่าในในอเมริกาเนี่ยเขากินถั่วดำที่มันเค็มๆนะเป็นอาหารไม่ได้เป็นของหวาน And it's where we get a lot of our protein. So what I did is I just cooked cooked um, black beans. I soaked them overnight and cooked them just like you would regular beans. You don't have to add salt or anything. Okay, so I'm going to add one cup of black beans. Cooked black beans, correct. I soaked them. I soak them overnight and cook them for about an hour. Just make sure you soak them overnight, and then you dump out the water, and then you put fresh water and boil it for an hour, and then you just then you have cooked beans. ถั่วดำเอาไปแช่น้ำไปค้างคืนนะฮะแล้วก็เทน้ำทิ้งออกแล้วก็ใส่น้ำเปล่าใหม่แล้วก็ต้มหนึ่งชั่วโมงแล้วก็จะเป็นแบบนี้ Okay, so here. I'm using this dish to mash them just because it's a nice flat surface and I can use all of my string. So here's um, a, a smasher. This is usually used for potatoes, like making mashed potatoes. But, but you, need, you need a strong one, a strong one that can really smash the beans down. Um, I got this one at Robinson's. If you need a strong one, that's where you can get one. Okay, so this one is you just want to mash them. You don't have to ma make them like a like a really fine puree. You just want them to be mashed. ก็บดให้มันละเอียดไม่ต้องมากก็ได้นะฮะให้มันแบบว่าแตกตัวออกมาก็พอ Oh, it looks like Pijun made some more copies. So right about this consistency is about what you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and empty my beans into our pot, our bowl here. Okay, so I'm going to put my beans into this bowl. Okay, so I'm going to put my beans 
Okay. Let's see. Ruya. Ruya. Would you like to help me? I got you, Yeah. Okay. So, the next ingredient that we're going to add here is our pureed um, baktong, which is our, our pureed squash. So, what I did is I just bought a whole squash from, I forgot where I bought it, Kamhai. I think it was from Kamhai Market. Okay. You can go like this, okay? Put it in there. Can you do that? So what we did um, is all I did was I put the pumpkin into the oven at about a hundred and uh, is it coming off? Here. There you go. That. Okay. Another one. Good job. Keep going. We need, we need more. Uh, we, I baked it in the oven for about a little bit more than an hour at 170 degrees Celsius. We have to fill it up. And then I took it out. I peeled off the skin. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, I think that's a pretty good Ruya. Thank you very much. Can be, can be boil or steam. You can boil or steam. I just had a lot of squash and it would take a long time to boil or steam it, so I decided to just stick it in the oven. Good job, Ruya. I'm going to put it in here. Okay, so now after I peeled it, I just um, put it in a food processor or you can put it in a blender and just blend it till it's a puree. I'm going to have you stay here for a little bit longer, Ruya, so you can help me with the next thing, okay? Okay, so we're going to just scoop all of this out. So the directions say that we're going to mix the black beans with the pumpkin, now that we have both of those. So here we have our mixture. I'm just going to quickly mix that together. So it's going to look orange because we have squash in here. Okay, so now that we have that mixed together. Okay, so now that we have that mixed together, I'm going to set that aside as well. And now I'm going to bring this over here. Okay, Okay, so what are we going to flavor this burger with? That's the next part. We need to make sure that the burger has a good flavor. So, we're going to be using many different things. Seasonings as well as onion and garlic, which always are the basis for a good flavor. You're going to add this for me, okay, Ruya? Just a minute. And we also are going to be using um, something that they don't, well, there is a Thai version of this vegetable here in Thailand. We use this one in America a lot, and I bought this at Macro. So they have a Thai celery. It's just very thin. Very and it has a leaf that's very similar to this. Um, but I personally I think there's a little more flavor in, in this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna 
So I'm going to be using this for our celery, and I, it's, it's available here. This bag was 50 baht. ตรงนี้50บาทซื้อที่แมคโครนะครับแต่ว่าถ้าหายไม่ได้ก็ใช้ขึ้นไทยขึ้นชายทั่วไปก็น่าจะโอเคโอเคใช้ขึ้นไทยขึ้นยูแคนยูสไทยเซลเลอรี่ออสส์ถ้าคุณอยากใช้ขึ้นชายไทยก็ได้เหมือนกันนะครับถ้ามันหายอันนั้นไม่ได้ So I'm gonna add a little oil here. This is olive oil. Remember we talked about oils a while ago. อันนี้คือน้ำมันมะกอกนะครับซึ่งเราได้เรียนมาแล้วว่าทำไมเราถึงควรจะใช้น้ำมันมะกอกแทนน้ำมันพืชทั่วไป Oops. It turned off. Okay, now okay. it's going again. Let's see if it will stay on. There we go. So I'm gonna add one. I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of um, olive oil for now. And then Ruya, I'm gonna have you add. I have here chopped onion. A third cup of chopped onion. This is the onion that I cut. And a little bit of garlic. Two cloves of garlic that we have. This is going to be our base for our flavor. Gratiam, na kap. Ria, can you add that to the to the pot right here? Here, let me put you a little bit closer. There you go. Good job. Yay! I'm going to shake it a little bit more. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna back you up just a little bit, Ruya. There you go. Let's see if this will work for us. So I actually, I actually added the garlic and the onion at the same time, rather than adding the garlic later, like the recipe says. Next, ตอนนี้ครูจะทำก็จะจะใส่กระเทียมเข้าไปแต่แรกเลยนะฮะแต่ว่าในสูตรจะเขียนว่าใส่กระเทียมทีหลังเพื่อไม่ให้มันไหม้ก็ทำได้แล้วก็ผัดนะฮะผัดให้มันเข้ากัน and we're just going to stir fry it together นะก้อนนี้ก็จะมีขึ้นช่ายหัวหอมแล้วก็กระเทียมลงไปผัดด้วยกันนะฮะใช้น้ำมันมะกอก good job Ruya thank you so much so all we want to do is we want to just stir fry it till it the onion starts to become clear so you can almost see through it. ก็จะผัดไปเรื่อยจนกว่าหัวหอมเนี่ยจะดูใสนะฮะก็คือมันจะสุกแล้วมันจะเริ่มใสๆก็แปลว่าใช้ได้ If it looks like your onions are getting a little dry or too burnt before they turn clear, you can add a little bit more oil, but you're trying to add as little as possible. ถ้าผัดไปแล้วมันดูแห้งๆหรือทำท่าจะไหมก็เติมน้ำมันลงไปได้นะครับแต่ว่าค่อยๆเติมอย่าไปใส่น้ำมันเยอะ I think one of my favorite smells in the world is onions and garlic frying. กลิ่นหอมของอาหารที่หอมมากก็คือกลิ่นของกระเทียมแล้วก็หัวหอมเนี่ยผัดด้วยกันนะครับ Can you smell? Can you smell it? ได้กลิ่นนะครับทำให้ทุกคนรู้สึกหิวขึ้นมาแล้ว My grandma, my grandma would cook food for us um, whenever we'd come to her house, and the base for all her recipes was gar lots of garlic and onion. So it's a good memory for me. คุณย่าของครูคาริน่าชอบทำอาหารโดยกระเทียมแล้วก็หอมหอมเป็นหลักเลยนะครับ So that's almost done. I'm gonna let that cook a little bit longer. เดี๋ยวจะสุกแล้วนะฮะปล่อยไปสักพักหนึ่ง Um, I'm just going to briefly show you what seasonings we're going to be using. So, um, this is Italian seasoning. It's a mixture of different herbs. You can get this at Tops, Tops Market. Um, you can also make it yourself. Very easy. You can buy all of the ingredients that are in here at Macro for a, bit, for a cheap price. This is a Italian seasoning, which you can buy at Macro. So it has, like this one has, all it has is um, and thank you. Marjorie, um, it has one, two, three, four, five, seven, seven different herbs in this in this uh, mixture. Seven different herbs in this mixture. And I have seen all of these herbs at Macro, so you can buy them. At Macro, there are all of them. 
So we're going to be using this. We're going to be using garlic powder. That you can get this uh, Big C. Big C ก็มีที่ท็อปก็มี You can. We're going to be using parsley. มี parsley นะครับ Parsley. 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 Parsley ก็หาซื้อได้ทั่วไปใน Top หรือว่า Macro. Big C. This is how I buy most of my herbs from Macro in a big bag like this. ที่ Macro มีขายนะฮะ Lotus หรือ Big C ก็มีเช่นเดียวกัน And then we're also going to be using um, chili. Pick, pick one. Okay. Sea salt. Oh, chili. Yes. Thai chili or? This is Thai chili. Yeah. In in America, I would use cayenne, but I don't have cayenne here, so <laughs> we're going to use this instead. Okay, so our onions are starting to look translucent. I trust that, I think maybe most of you know what a translucent onion looks like, meaning it looks clear, but like that one right there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's well cooked. It has the flavors that have come out of the onion now. Okay, so our, re our recipe says uh, we're going to saute that all together and then we're going to turn it off. And we're going to go ahead and mix it with our with all of our seasonings. Mark, did you want to did you want to help? No? Do you want to help again, Alina? Okay, so we're, I'm going to have Alina put Italian seasoning first. She's going to put three quarters of a teaspoon. So that's three of these. Okay. There you go. Throw it in there. สามส่วนสี่ช้อนชา Good. Thank you. Rui is busy still. I'll have you put the next one. And then we're going to put half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic powder, just so you know, it um, absorbs moisture very easily. ผงกระเทียมนะฮะใส่ลงไป1ส่วน2ช้อนชานะครับซึ่งผงกระเทียมเนี่ยมันมันจะชื้นง่ายนะฮะเขาก็จะมีไอ้ผงดูดความชื้นไว้ในข้างใน Yeah so um, you know they usually put like a silicone packet in with the with the powder so it doesn't absorb so much moisture but even with this it will get hard if you leave it outside so I would recommend you keep your garlic powder in the refrigerator ถึงแม้เขาจะใส่ผงกันชื้นลงไปในผงกระเทียมเนี่ยแต่ว่ามันก็ยังจะจับตัวเป็นก้อนง่ายนะครับแนะนำไม่ว่าให้ใส่ในตู้เย็น so it stays nice and, and fine, the powder. So I'm going to ask Elena to put half a teaspoon, so that's two of those, okay? Good. Would you like to go ahead and stir it for us? You can start stirring in the, the different seasonings. Perfect. Okay. It's off. Okay, Ruya, would you like to help again? Yes, thank you, Elena. There you go. Okay, next we have parsley. We're going to put half a teaspoon of parsley. So here's a one quarter of a teaspoon. Can you put that in there, Ruya? Parsley, don't buy. There's one. We're going to put one more. Good job. And then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt. Just one quarter of a teaspoon. Good job. Pijun will mix that for us. And we're going to just put a little bit of pepper. What is this one called? What is this called? So depending on how much heat you can tolerate, you can put more of this if you want. I'm going to make a very mild one today, especially for 
ใช่ผีฟ้อจะอยากอยากเห็นกระแสเพิ่มขึ้นได้นะครับแต่ว่านี้จะทำรสอ่อนๆนะครับ So um, I'm only g o i n g to put an eighth of a teaspoon in in this burger. จะใส่พริกลงไปหนึ่งส่วนแปดช้อนชาแค่นั้นเองนะฮะ It's about about half of this little spoon. Okay. Maybe a little bit less. But if if you are someone who can tolerate a lot of heat, feel free to put more if you would like to. ถ้าใครอยากจะให้มันเผ็ดกว่านี้ก็ใส่เพิ่มขึ้นได้นะครับตามใจ Okay Good job Ruya Very good work Okay There you go Okay Thank you Pijun Move this aside Okay So we have now our our um, onions And our celery and our garlic mixed with all of our different seasonings. So this is what's giving our burger flavor. I'm now going to add all of that to our bowl. I'm now going to add all of that to our bowl. I'm now going to add all of that to our bowl. I'm now going to add all of that to our bowl. I'm now going to add Make sure you get all the herbs and flavors out of there, so they they can flavor your burger. Mm. Okay, Helena, would you like to mix this for me? So here's our mixture. Helena is going to mix that up for us. And we're almost to our last step. We're gonna go ahead and add after Helena gets that mixed in. These are oats. Um, these are considered old-fashioned oats, meaning that they're not really tiny pieces that will cook really quick. They're bigger pieces that will take a little longer. อันนี้เป็นข้าวโอ๊ตที่มันเป็นแบบว่าไม่ได้เป็นข้าวโอ๊ตปนๆเหมือนที่เราเห็นในบางทีนะฮะอันนั้นมันจะแบบว่าละลายน้ำง่ายจะเป็นข้าวโอ๊ตที่มันเป็นเป็นแผ่นๆเป็นเต็มแผ่นอยู่ So I would recommend using these ones instead of the instant ones, because the instant ones might make the burger a little bit more gummy. แนะนำว่าให้ใช้แบบนี้ดีกว่านะเพราะว่าถ้าใช้แบบข้าวแบบปนเนี่ยเบอร์เกอร์มันจะเละเกินไป Okay, so I'm going to add now our one and a half cups of old-fashioned oats, and Elena is going to mix that in for us as well. ใส่ลงไปเลยครับข้าวโอ๊ตถ้วยครึ่ง And while she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and prepare our pan. So normally, I would let this sit in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes, just so that the the oats can soak up the moisture and it can be not so wet and it'll be a little better to um, form your patties. ปกติแล้วจะแช่ตู้เย็นไว้สักครึ่งชั่วโมงก่อนนะฮะเพื่อให้ข้าวโอ๊ตเดี๋ยวมันดูดซับความชื้นได้เต็มที่ก่อนไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่แห้ง Another really easy thing to do is you can make this, put it in the refrigerator, and then the next day you can just quickly get it out and make your hamburgers. หรือจะทิ้งไว้ค้างคืนก็ได้นะฮะก็คือทำไว้แล้วพอวันต่อมาก็เอามาทำแฮมเบอร์เกอร์เบอร์เกอร์ได้เลยแต่ครึ่งชั่วโมงก็เพียงพอแล้ว Okay. Now, last step. We almost Did any of you forget that we had a flax seed over here? ลืมไปยังครับว่าเรามีเมล็ดแฟกที่ทำทิ้งไว้ตั้งแต่แรก Okay, so if you can see here, it's gotten a lot thicker. ตอนนี้เมล็ดแฟกมันก็จะเริ่มเป็นค้นๆเนื่อๆแล้วนะฮะ So this is what our what's going to bind our our burger together along with the oats. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring you a little bit more over here. เราจะใส่เข้าไปเมล็ดแฟกเข้าไปเพื่อให้เนื้อของเบอร์เกอร์เนี่ยมันเกาะตัวกันได้ดียิ่งขึ้น Okay, we're going to add that to it. Just make sure it's really well mixed. Okay. Oh, you have a like a, a hamburger patty maker? 
that forms it. Oh. <laughs> in the shape of the state of Texas? <laughs> Interesting, okay. You know, we could have used that. <laughs> okay, so now that Helena's done, thank you, Helena. I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil in here. And there's a very, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to make the patty. I'm not going to let it sit in the refrigerator for 30 minutes because we don't have time for that. Okay, so this is what our mixture is going to look like right now. So I'm going to flatten it out and make it smooth on top and even. Like that, so it's nice and flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide it into four equal pieces. Like that. Okay. So each one of those is going to be a burger. Okay, so this will make four burgers. I'm going to use wax paper on my pan so we don't have to use any um, oil to keep that from sticking. I'm, I have a cookie cutter here. It's about nine centimeters. Well, it's jumped. I'm going to put that into our pan. Okay, so now I'm going to take our burger here. You're going to use your hands. I'm just going to make it into a ball. And I put it, drop it in there. I'm going to take this cup. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of oil just so it doesn't stick. Let's see. Oops, I put it the wrong way. You kind of let it go down just a little bit. So you have, you know, like a perfect circle right there. I'm going to make it a little bit, a little bit flatter. So let's see if I can show you. So that's going to be our, our burger right there, okay? So everyone sees that? So after you get these done, I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of these. Um, after you after you get this all done, you're going to put it in the oven. What, at what temperature did I say? At 177 degrees Celsius. แล้วเราก็ไปเปิดเตาอบไว้นะครับ <coughs> okay. you, the you're going to bake these for 20 minutes เราจะอบอันเนี้ยหลังจากที่มันออกมาจากจากตู้เย็นเนี่ยประมาณ Then you flip them over and bake them for another 15 minutes แล้วก็พริกกลับได้แล้วก็อบอีก 15 นาที after you take them out of the oven, you're just going to let them cool for a little bit. And then um, you can assemble your burgers. You can put anything you want. And you can be very creative when it comes to making hamburgers. If you want to put, if you want to get fancy and make different kinds of sauces, or you can um, saute the onions and cook them a little bit so they're sweet. You could put veggies, mushrooms. I want you to look at the second page. There's two pages that you have. So one of the one of the things where we can often also get cholesterol is from mayonnaise. Because it's made from eggs and milk. So to fix that problem, I have given you a recipe. I'm not going to demonstrate it for you today. Uh, maybe another time. Oh, thank you. Can you put it right here, Ruya? Thank you so much, Ruya. But it's very simple to make. All you have to do is mix all of the ingredients together, um, except the oil, in a blender. 
ก็ง่ายๆนะครับก็ผสมส่วนสมทุกอย่างตามสูตรในนี้ใส่ลงไปในเครื่องปั่นยกเว้นน้ำมันยังไม่ใส่ในตอนนั้นนะฮะ And then after it's mixed, you very very slowly drizzle in oil into the blender while it's going. ตอนที่ on high yes. ตอนที่ทำมายองเนสมาสเตอร์รัสเนี่ยก็คือใส่ผสมลงไปทั้งหมดยกเว้นน้ำมันนะฮะพอปั่นปุ๊บค่อยค่อยเติมน้ำมันลงไปทีหลัง So it's very slow. That's important. It's a very slow oil. ใส่ลงไปอย่างช้าๆนะครับน้ำมันในนี้ก็คือเป็นน้ำมันทานตาวันหรือน้ำมันคานอลานะครับ Canola or sunflower oil also can work really well. Olive oil has a, a strong taste, so it might not be the best for making mayonnaise. น้ำมันมะกอกมันจะมีรสนิดนึงก็อาจจะไม่เหมาะในการทำมายองเนสนะครับ And then after that, it should start getting thick from the oil. You put it in the refrigerator and it will get thicker still. Um, but it's a very good substitute for mayonnaise that you can use. จากนั้นมันก็จะเริ่มข้นข้ขึ้นแล้วถ้าเราเอาไปใส่ในตู้เย็นปุ๊บเนี่ยมันก็จะยิ่งทําให้มันเนืดๆขึ้นนะฮะมันเป็น It's apple cider vinegar actually. It could be added before. Um, and I was going to just mention. Oh, so so even veg, vegan mayonnaise has um, oil in it, so it's fat. So it's not like you can just eat. All vegan mayonnaise all the time, but it has about 30 to 40 calories less than regular mayonnaise, and it has no cholesterol and no saturated fat. So um, it's a better option if you're looking for uh, some a vegan mayonnaise that's a little healthier for you. ถึงแม้ว่ามายองเนสบางสวิรัตเนี่ยมันจะไม่มีคอเลสเตอรอลก็จริงแต่ว่ามันก็ยังมีส่วนผสมของน้ำมันอยู่นะครับก็ไม่ใช่ว่าเราจะกินได้เยอะๆนะฮะเพราะว่าจะทำให้เราอ้วนได้แต่ว่ามันก็ยังดีกว่ามายองเนสที่ขายทั่วๆไปแน่ๆเลย So here's our burgers So we're gonna put them in the oven and we'll bake them But um, for right now we have burgers that have already finished and I'll, we'll bring them out for you guys to try Okay? So if you can hang on for just a second We'll bring those out How many people are there? One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten There's a hamburger that's done and we'll make it for everyone to see Two, three, three There's more than 24, so we're gonna have to cut it into quarters. เนื่องจากว่ามีคนมากกว่าแฮมเบอร์เกอร์ที่เราเตรียมไว้นะครับก็อาจจะตัดให้มันชิ้นเล็กลงนิดนึงเดี๋ยวรอสักครู่นะครับเดี๋ยวเอามาให้ชิม Thank you. จะเอาให้ทุกคนดูนะครับว่าออกมาจะเป็นยังไง Thank you so much, Rachel. Make sure to warn people when they take these. Oh, okay. <laughs>